Hello everyone. Welcome to LRA Prep. My name is Samir Sultana. And in this video, I am going to discuss a data interpretation caselet based on percentages. This is from the previous year CAT paper, a very, very important set. Everybody should do it. The level of difficulty is moderate. It's not easy. It's not on high level of difficulty. A very simple set, but a kind of set that you must practice before CAT because it is from previous year CAT and it can be repeated in the upcoming CAT exams. So what do we have? These are the in, these, this is the information that we have. Rahul has to decide whether or not to test a batch of 1000 widget before sending them to the buyer. In case he decides to test, he has two options. Either he can go for test 1 or he can go for test 2. Now, test 1 cost 2 rupees per widget. However, the test is not perfect. It seems 20% of the bad ones to the buyers adds good. It sends 20% of the bad one as a buyer's to good. See that. Whenever you are doing a case slot, it's very, very important that you properly read the information. You underline important points. You try to make yourself understand the meaning of every line being given over here. So just try to make a basic structure of it, right? Just understand the story behind this complete case. What is happening? A shopkeeper is basically trying to decide whether he should, whether he should be testing 1000 widgets before sending them to buyers or not. So in the total number of products that we have, that, that this uh, person has, Rahul has, is 1000. Now he, he has two options to test these thousand widget right before sending them to his buyers he has two option whether to check the defective widgets or not and he have two options either he can go for test one or he can go for test two this is the story so far right question says that if he decided to go for test one test one will cost him two rupees per widget that means for testing he will be spending two rupees on one widget right but the problem with the test one is that it sent 20% of the bad ones to the buyers as good. That means, let's say, if out of these 1000 widget, let's say the number of widgets which are the bad ones are let's say 200. I'm just trying to make you understand the meaning of this line, that it sent 20% of the bad ones to the buyers as good. So out of 200 bad widgets, that means these products are not bad products, you don't need buyers to send them to buyers, right? But if you go to testing 1, then testing 1 ka problem is that 200 ke sare ke sare bad widgets will detect bad widgets. So out of 1000, 200 widgets are bad widgets, test 1 will give you only 20%. Uh, test 1 will send 20% of the bad one as to the bias. That means 20% deduction detection nahi hoga. So ye 200 ka 20% that means 40 widgets jo honge, ye 40 widgets wo aapko detect karke uske slot ko separate nahi karega as it is wo 200 ke beech mein hi, right? You will never get to know ki ye 200 ki kaun se 40 products jo hai, jo, jo, jo ki bad widgets hai, jin ke andar koi defect hai, right? So therefore, it will give you only a detection of 80%. That means 200 may say 160 widgets aapko separate kar dega ye, right, jo aapke defective widgets hai, but ye 40 ko detect nahi karega. Agar ye in 40 ko detect nahi karega, that means you will consider them as a good products and you will send this to your buyer, but you don't want to send the bad widgets to the buyers, right? Aage ye question mein likha hua. If, the, if, the, if, the, if this person goes for test 2, if this person goes for test 2, Test 2 is costing rupees 3 per widget, right? Test 2 is costing rupees 3 per widget. It brings out all the bad ones. That means this is a perfect test. It detects 100% of defect, defective items. So if in our thousand, if, if in our lot of thousand, we have 200 defective product, this test will give you 100% result. That means this test will help you in identifying all the 200 widgets, which are the defective ones. Okay, this is the story so far. Now, a defective widgets identified before sending them can be corrected at a cost of rupees 25 per widget. If you def if you detect that this product is defective, then you can correct that defective item or defective product on the cost of rupees 25 per widget. That means your widget, apne 
डिटेक्ट किया उसमें आपको जो करेक्शन कॉस्ट लगेगी राइट द करेक्शन कॉस्ट इज ट्वेंटी फाइव रुपीज पर विजिट एंड ऑल द बैड विजिट विच आर आइडेंटिफाइड एट द बायर एंड अगर आपने बायर को एक डिफेक्टिव आइटम सेल किया तो उस केस में आपको पेनल्टी लगेगा ट्वेंटी फिफ्टी रुपीज का राइट सो पेनल्टी विल बी अप्लाइड ऑफ फिफ्टी रुपीज इफ अ डिफेक्टिव विजिट इज आइडेंटिफाइड एट द बायर एंड सो यू सी दैट टेस्ट टू इज अंड्रेड परसेंट परफेक्ट वन इट डज नॉट गिव इट डज नॉट पास ऑन एनी डिफेक्टिव आइटम्स टू बायर सो देर फॉर देर विल बी नो पेनल्टी इन केस ऑफ टेस्ट टू penalty will be happening in case of test 1 or in case of no testing if you go for test 1 right there would be some items which will be identified at buyers one buyers end as as you know the defective products so on these products you will be paying the penalty 200 is a one that i took only the as an example to make you understand this complete structure what this what is the complete story of this case right now the question is asking you Rahul should not test if the number of bad widget in the lot is less than hundred, more than two hundred, between one twenty and one ninety cannot be find out. So question is asking you, कि Rahul को testing करनी चाहिए या नहीं करनी चाहिए? अगर उसके पास one thousands widgets हैं sell करने के लिए, right? और जो bad widgets हैं, the defective widgets का जो value है, अगर वो less than hundred हो, तो उसको testing नहीं करना चाहिए. किस case में Rahul should not test? Now. If you are thinking from the Rahul's perspective view, Rahul is sending its Rahul is selling the thousand widgets to the someone who is buying, right? So if you are thinking from the Rahul's perspective, you should try to maximize the profit of Rahul. That means, in whichever case Rahul is able to save the money, we should go opt for that option. Rahul should opt that option, right? So Rahul have three options, right? Rahul has three options that if That that he does not go for testing. He he does not go for testing, right? No test, or he can go for test one, or he can go for test two, right? And we have to see if the number of bad digits are less than hundred. Whether no testing is a better option, or testing one is a better option, or testing two is a better option. And we are supposed to think from Rahul's perspective, Rahul's perspective, that in which particular case Rahul will be able to save the money, right? Now let's do the calculation part here. Let's do the complete calculation here. I'm just removing all this data. I hope you got the complete picture of the set. Now let's see. See that. Now let's go for the first option. Now less than hundred, there are multiple values. There are many values. Which option you should pick? You should always pick in in these type of set. You should always pick extreme cases. Let's say in this thousand in this thousand widgets, I have hundred defective widgets, right? Let's look at what is happening if the number of bad widgets are defective. Hundred other defective items, right? So what will happen to Rahul if he choose the option of no testing? If he if he does not go for testing, that means he will be paying penalty on all these hundred items because these defective no testing means Rahul will be selling all thousand widgets, and if he's selling all thousand widgets, he will be sending these hundred defective items to the buyers, and once the buyer Identify these hundred defective items. He will charge a penalty. What penalty will be charged? Fifty rupees. So hundred into fifty. In this case, Rahul will be spending five thousand rupees out of his pocket. That will be charged to him as a penalty. Okay. What if Rahul goes for test one? If Rahul goes for test one, right? The cost of test one is two rupees per widget. Now he have to check every widget to identify which items are defective. Or which widgets are defective, so Rahul will be spending two rupees per widget. That means Rahul will be spending two thousand rupees per widget uh, in total testing, right? Rahul will be spending two thousand rupees in total testing, and out of these hundred defective items, Rahul will be able to identify eighty percent, and twenty percent will not be identified. Eighty percent of hundred is eighty. so in the on these 80 identity de defective items there would be a correction cost right and what is the correction cost correction cost is 25 rupees per widget so rahul will be spending 2000 rupees in the correction and these 20 items which will not be which will not be identified in test 1 will be charged as a penalty because uh, ye 20 aap identify nahi karega test 1 to iske penalty lagega buyer send pay right 
राहुल को ये ट्वेंटी का लोड सेल कर देगा राहुल बिकॉज डज नॉट नो दैट दीज ट्वेंटी आइटम्स आर डिफेक्टिव सो राहुल विल बी पेइंग पेनल्टी ऑन दीज ट्वेंटी आइटम्स हाउ मच पेनल्टी विल बी राहुल बी पेइंग हेयर फिफ्टी रुपीज पर विजिट सो राहुल विल बी स्पेंडिंग थाउजेंड रुपीज हेयर राइट सो टोटल एक्सपेंस यू सी दैट इफ यू लुक एट द टोटल एक्सपेंस ऑफ राहुल इन टेस्ट वन ही स्पेंडिंग टू थाउजेंड हेयर He is spending two thousand here and spending thousand here. So total expense is five thousand, right? And if he does not go for any testing, right, then he will be spending three thousand rupees on testing. Sorry, if he go for test two, if Rahul choose the option of testing two, test two, he will be spending three thousand rupees on testing, and there will be a correction cost of twenty five on all these hundred because hundred percent items will be identified. So in test three, Rahul will be spending three thousand plus twenty five hundred. That is fifty five hundred rupees. Yes or no? Now tell me which option is better. In case the number of defective items are one hundred, you see that test two is definitely not the option. We are spending Rahul is spending five hundred more here. Now test one and no testing is a tie. But this is happening only when there is exact one hundred defective items. Question is saying. They are less than hundred. Now you tell me, when the number of defective items are less than one hundred, which option will be better? No testing or test one? See that in test one, you will be spending two rupees on every widget, right? And whatever defective items are there, you will be spending twenty five rupees there, and you will be spending fifty rupees as a penalty also. So if my number of defective items becomes less than hundred, let's say if it becomes ninety or eighty or seventy or whatever, right? Ninety-nine. Even it becomes ninety-nine. You see that in case of no testing, my money per widgets will be saved by rupees fifty. I will be able to save fifty rupees because if my number of defective items goes from one hundred to ninety, I'll be now paying the penalty of forty-five hundred. that means rahul will be able to say 500 here but when the number of bad widgets decrease from 100 to 90 this charge will not get decrease rahul still have to test every widget right and there will be a correction cost here and the penalty cost here but here these 2 rupees on testing rahul will definitely be spending even though the margin of rahul will be very less when the number of widgets become less than 100 but this is a case let and examiner want to check whether you are able to take a decision in this case or not right the number of widgets can be 1 lakh also right it just examiner want to check your quantitative skills here that how do you take a decision in this in this kind of situation whether you whether you analyze the situation properly or not whether you know how to use it uh, how to use your quant to decide how to use your quant skill to decide whether i should go for no testing or test one so this is the purpose of you know uh, examiner he want to check your quantitative skills here right so it doesn't mean that even if he is saving 1 rupees here rahul still uh, you, you from your perspective rahul should not go for testing right even he is able to say 1 rupees here right so you see that in not testing when the number of widgets become less than 100 rahul is able to save more here compared to here right so the better option for rahul will be to go for not testing in case the number of bad widgets are less than 100 so option a is the correct answer of the question right this is the way to solve this set right so in case let you need to understand the story behind this right you you just read it as a story make a basic structure of it try to connect everything try to connect every component here, here given here right uh, make a structure in your mind so that you don't have to read the information again and again if you can do that in case let you will be able to solve it and this is a previous year cat paper set right it's a original cat set right so you need to do this set properly right let me give you the second number question and i want all of you to try this one i'll be giving you the answer in the next part of the video if there are 120 defective widgets in the lot what should rahul do whether he should go for test 1 or not test he should go for test 2 or not test what is the better option you have to do the uh, the com the complete method will be same as a concept as a question number 1 it's not a different question the same question same concept just for your practice we'll be discussing two or three more questions right so uh, that's it try this question the solution will be given to you in the next video in fact there's a one more question also i want you to try this question also question number 3 if the number of defective widgets in the lot is between 200 and 400 then what should rahul do both of these two questions right try these two questions both of these two questions will be discussed in the next video
on an academy i'm taking live classes for logical reasoning data interpretation and quantitative aptitude this is my referral code lrds meal is my referral code that you can use to get 10% off on an academy plus purchase thank you so much for joining the session see you in the next video thank you